Okay, we are going to solve problem 3.59 from Sadiku book and the question is rework problem 3.30 using mass analysis. So we did this before, you can look at my previous videos and the question was find V0 and I0. V0 is the voltage across this resistor and I0 is the current that flow through this, uh, this branch. Okay, let's start by drawing the loops. Let's do it like this. Let's name this loop one. And here we have uniquely shaped loop. So let's name this loop two. And let's name this loop number three. But here we have current source that we cannot find the voltage directly but we have to use circuit to find out what is this so I will make this as super loop so let's use different color okay now we have this color and this here 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 become our super loop so this is our super loop. So the super loop is flowing like this here. Okay, let's start by let's start at loop number one. The AC is first. So at loop one, we are using KVL, which is the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to zero. And we start from this voltage source. So the current is flowing from negative to positive. So I will have minus sign and the value is 80 plus. And here we have 10 ohm. The only current that passed through it is I1 here. And this 20 ohm. So plus 20 and we focus on loop 1 so I multiply it by I1 but here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. Remember when you we are using super loop we only take care of the small loops inside the super loop and here we have this voltage source so the value is for V0. And all of this will equal to zero. And we can simplify this. This becomes 13 I1 minus 20 I2 plus 4 V0. And that will equal to 80. Okay, let's have this as equation number one. Okay, now let's move on to our super loop here. So again, we are using KVL, which states that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to zero. And we will start from this dependent voltage source and the current is flowing from negative to positive. So I will have minus 4 V0. And then we move on to this resistor here plus 20. Again we focus on the super loop but we only take care of this small loop so I2. And we subtract it by I1 because I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. And then this 40 ohm plus 40 ohm. And the only current that passed through it is I2. And here we have voltage source. And the current is flowing from negative to positive. So the sign will be minus, minus 69. And here we have this resistor, so I will have plus 80 
And then, the only current that pass through it is I3. And I think we are done with this super loop. So, this all will equal to 0. So, now we can simplify this. This become minus 20 I1. And then, plus 60 I2. Plus 80 I3. Plus... Not plus, minus. Yeah, I think it's minus. Minus V0. Minus 69 is equal to 0. So I can move this minus 69 to the right hand side. So I will have minus 20 I1 plus 60 I2 plus 80 I3 minus 4 V0 is equal to 96 and let's have this as equation number 2 but now here we have two equations but we have four variables I1, I2, I3 and V0 so how to handle this uh, let's see what can we do now, if we take a look at this node, let's name this as node A. So, I will resort to KCL here. KCL at node A. Here we have two currents that goes in. This I2 and this 2I0. And I3 is going out from this node. So, I will have... I2 plus 2I0 is equal to I3. But here I0 is the same as I2 here. So I will have I2 plus 2I2 is equal to I3. Or we can rewrite this as 3i2 minus i3 is equal to 0. And let's have this as equation number 3. Okay, our whiteboard is full. Let's have this equation number 1, number 2, and number 3 to the left hand side. And I will erase this and we will continue. Okay, I have cleaned the board. So, so far we have these three equations. And what can we do about this V0 here? So, we need to take a look at this resistor here. Okay, let's make this our ground. So, the voltage here will be 0. So, here we have Ohm's law in this resistor. V0 or VA, it's the same is equal to 80 multiplied by i3 so i can substitute this value to equation number one and number two so let's do that equation one's become 30 i1 minus 20 i2 plus 4 multiplied by 80 is 312 not 12, 320. So I will have this as I3. And that will equal to 80. And here we will have minus 20 I1 plus 60 I2. Okay, now 80 minus 4 V0. Minus 4 V0 is minus 320 I3. So I will have minus 240 I3. Okay, let's check. I don't want to make any mistake. Okay. So I will have this equal to 96. And now we can use these three equations because it is 3 three equations and we have three variables i1 i2 and i3 
let's make this as matrix form and we will solve that in MATLAB and I will tell you the result. Now here is the matrix form and we can plug this into MATLAB and if you do it, you will get I1 is 143.04 ampere. I2 is minus 4.48 ampere and I3 is minus 13.44 ampere but we cannot stop here because the question is find V0 and I0 so let's do that here I0 is equal to I2 so we can use this value so I will have minus 4.48 ampere so this is the value of I0 and for V0 again by Ohm's law here we will have I3 times AP which can do it by plugging I3 here and how much is this let's okay sorry let's do it with our lovely calculator minus 13.44 multiplied by 80 so it will be 1,075.24 or we can make it in kilovolt 1.0752 kilovolt so we will have this as V0 and that as I0 and this is a good place to stop and hopefully I did not make any mistakes thank you for watching